Oh my God. Hun, when you jump off the ground, it is all staying there. I need for you to jump over us so we can throw you up. And that means lifting your hips up. Do you understand? That's literally, she just said it. Because that's what I'm, I'm upset with. You, like, you stayed completely in front of us. Like you didn't, you didn't jump, like you know, I, okay, I'm gonna take an, that was my first one. I'll make an adjustment. Okay. It was weird seeing it from a different angle because I'm the back spot, so I'm under it. I can only see going to catch her ankles. I can't really see another angle of it unless it's recorded. So I watched him do it with her and I could see like what they were talking about, how she opens up because whenever I catch, it comes straight to my chest like because she goes straight back. Okay, hey, you hit your stunt during the holiday so you know you're capable of doing it, right? You sure? Okay, you're, you're, you're making your group work very, very hard for a technique that requires you to do some work and them to do the other, okay? You, there is no pop to this skill. It is staying completely laid out and crashing down. You should be able to see our feet and then lift your chest up and we should calmly catch you in an extended rewind. Your feet are coming down on us because you are not lifting up and getting over us enough for us to be able to give you some. Do you understand? Okay. Michaela's group is um, struggling right now with the rewind. Yes, it is our game day skill. It's also the skill we threw, out, threw at tryouts. Maybe, I don't know, maybe she's been uh, going back and forth between different techniques that she's forgotten, the technique it required to be able to throw that skill. But this is also somebody that was close to getting full twisting rewinds. And I believe on that group, if not other groups. So right now that they're struggling with the rewind, I have, I, I, I don't know. I asked you to jump like a tuck. If I told you to do a standing tuck, it wouldn't go what? you would go up and up and over. That is the same concept for the jump that they need to throw. This stuff is not working for them. I come from a more all-star background when it comes to cheerleading. Um, I cheered at an all-star gym and for all-star it's a lot more choreography and performance based. We don't really do like these kind of skills for stunts at all. We don't really do collegiate pyramids. The pyramids are like completely different. So when it comes to traditional mat and my first year being on, traditional mat as a USF all-girl cheerleader. It's just a lot different when it comes to everything. I want you to try another laid out rewind. And maybe you need to think, like you do in your baskets, you lift very well in those. That's not even a thought for you. You see it. With these skills, you don't do that same kind of movement to the people underneath you to follow you. We've made great improvements in my opinion. We're still working on consistency, obviously, and hitting it 10 out of 10 times, perfect. Um, I know I'm personally working on catching things with my arms locked down, catching with my legs. I know Michaela's working on how to lift on the back half of things. I was like beyond frustrated because I think my group has really tried to like build Michaela up and give corrections as in many different ways as possible. And I think sometimes certain skills sometimes all of a sudden get hard for her and it's hard to like coach her or correct her when it like gets rough like that. So I think it was good for her at like late and like one-on-one, -on -one, like got with her and like tried to fix it. Cause I think we've been trying to fix it on our own and it's like not working. So I think finally, like after yesterday, like we already did better today in that. They need to give her a little bit of grace. She is an incoming freshman. Is she capable of doing the skills? Yes. Our first full out, her son stayed in the air. There were no problems. Could it get better? Yes but I feel like the group needs to start working more together. And they're, they're off to the side. They're one of the groups that are not in game day. So they get that extra time to condition their bodies to be even more ready to prepare, to prepare themselves to hit the routine. So hopefully that all works out for them too. It is a game day skill, so. Please do the magic. I've seen you do it. I saw it in the A-frame pyramid, you lifting and standing up. Let me see the magic. Okay, go, rewind, and then go, get, go take your break. I got some work, but it's fine. Go get work. I mean, go take a break. That was kind of back to the old habits again. When I wake up, well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. When I go out, yeah, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who goes out. I'm gonna be the man who's evil to you. But I will walk by 
And I saw my face on that board. I think I was actually speechless. My body was in shock. Just seeing all of my hard work pay off was like everything. It feels great to be back on the team. I absolutely love it here. It's such a fun environment and I obviously wanted to finish out my senior year here and get to go and hopefully compete at nationals one last time. We don't know mats or anything like that, so I don't know exactly how the season's gonna go, but I have really bright hopes and I'm really excited. I feel like this is a super talented bunch of people and I feel like it's gonna be a great year. Yes, go bold. <laughs> I'm on all girl. La, la, Woo! <laughs> I was excited but sad at the same time because I was like, oh my gosh, my fourth year is actually starting. I am so excited to be back. I love this team. I am I just I can't believe it's my second year already. Like I feel like my rookie year flew by like so quickly. We made it, guys. Woo! I feel so relieved. Like, it's kind of hard to describe. Like, once I saw my face on that board, I was in disbelief, but like in a good way. And like everything that I had um, dealt with last year being away, it was genuinely a wash of relief through my body and I was just overjoyed to be back with my family, my friends, and uh, the people that I love the most. Uh, I was really nervous actually because they always say like second year is your hardest year to make it so you have to show improvement. So I worked really hard in the off season on my tumbling and my stunting to improve. But overall standing outside, that's like the final moment. You've given it your all so you're just kind of waiting. Going inside and seeing the board and seeing my face was really rewarding and all the hard work paid off. I first saw my picture on the board and I had no, well I had emotion, I was very excited. And then when I walked back into the corral, that's how you say it right, corral. Um, Brinley like came up to me and gave me the biggest hug and I started bawling my eyes out. This was like my dream. I've been thinking about this since I like was able to tumble. Like I knew I wanted to go to USF. So when I saw my picture, I was just so excited, so happy. And actually when I saw the picture, I didn't actually recognize myself. Like I saw it and I was like, wait, because I forgot what I was wearing the first day. <laughs> In this room, there are some red shirts, about two stunt groups that are not quite there yet, that are gonna to need to put in more, more effort and more time. In this room, there is a game day team. In this room, there is a traditional team. In this room, each and every one of y'all are representative of the University of South Florida all-girl cheerleading program. Okay, 30 for game day, 20 for traditional. Ideally, there's 49 people here right now. 49 of us. Last year was our largest what's, team what's ever, the and now teams this year's our largest 49ers? team ever. We are, we are the South Florida 49ers. <laughs> is, is it San Francisco 49ers? It is the San Francisco, but we're now the South Florida I know, it's a sports team. Really? That's not an all-star so team. You, so this year, um, the actually the million dollar question is, like, why did you pick such a big team? And I think because people, automatically saw like, oh my gosh, at tryouts, they put 12 stunt groups. Well, the truth was that there was two reasons. We felt that we had 12 stunt groups in the room that were good enough to be there. Um, and the second reason is we have 14 seniors this year. It's the largest senior class we've ever had. And we are building this program, you know, brick by brick to what we want it to be and where we want to go. But we felt that some of the talent in the room at, that was there as first years was worth teaching um, to kind of take some of these spots, hopefully, of the girls that are graduating. Some of these girls can train and be ready to be in these roles. And which is also a reason why you'll see that we've done so much um, performances where we even have the girls who aren't on traditional performing, you know, a watered down version of the traditional routine is to get them experience at some of the 
um, performances out in front of people to kind of train to step into these roles. There's a lot of girls that at tryouts a few years ago, they would have been on traditional mat and with the fact that we were so deep, or game day mat, the same fact that we were so deep in some of our leaders for both of those mats, it's wonderful, but we're graduating them out. So we wanted to kind of prepare some girls to have the opportunity to step into those roles. Now, will they all make the team back? I don't know. It depends if during that year they did what they needed to do. But we have a very specific way we want us to do it so that we all look the same way. Um, and a lot of for pyramids, especially if you are a mid layer or a shoulder stand, we will nitpick you until it is exactly like ours. But it is it helps. It makes us successful in some of the things that we do. So don't wear your heart on your sleeves, okay? Um, you guys will progress and it's gonna be great. I'm super excited about this team. Um, there's so much talent in this room. With that being said, tonight, go home, take a deep breath and be excited about it. The rookies this year are extremely talented. Like the stuff we're doing this year for traditional are like things that when I came to USF three years ago, I would never even dream of doing. We're hitting full twisting rewinds and like some people are starting to hit them to the top this early on. And like when I first came here, we were like not even hitting rewinds to the top, just straight rewinds. So it's actually crazy the talent we have coming on this year. Like the traditional routine is going to be so good. And I cannot wait to see it. All the girls are, they've been pushing so hard. So I'm really excited for that. One of the um, things that we did last year was read our Habits of Champion book. And one of the chapters that was really huge and in the moment, we didn't get to do it because we were in the middle of it, was, the cha was a chapter about journaling. We are going to start off right off the top with our with a journal for this summer where you will take this with you and you will journal when you are doing your summer workouts, your cardio, your fitness, you go tumbling, you go stunt, whatever you're doing, it's yours personally. We're not gonna read every single thing, but we are gonna check in on it. So when you come back to the June practice weekends, you will bring this with you and we will check in to make sure that you are putting in the work on your own, okay? I definitely enjoy writing in the journals that Sandy gave us. I've always been someone that thinks that's a positive thing for people. It's really important for everyone to have like a positive mindset and like be all in and buy into the program in order for us to make it to that end goal, to win nationals, to achieve what we want to achieve. If you go into practice like thinking negatively and already in a bad mood, like, oh my God, I really just don't want to go to cheer today. I don't want to be here today. Like you're going to have a bad practice no matter what. Every person hopefully is nationals eligible, barring that you make grades. Thank you. Every, we are not putting 49 people on the football field at the same time. So there will be some football red shirts in this room that will do appearance things and stuff like that throughout the football game. And some football appearances. Okay, too. some football appearances and so on and so forth. We will not select that until we see how hard everybody in this room works. Because if we name what we thought off of tryouts, we'll be wrong because somebody that we thought was, was, was on the bottom will work harder than somebody that we thought was on We're the on top. top. So, I'm cool. excited where we're starting though. But we should we, be too. We are starting in a great position. It is all in how hard you work, how much you love each other, and how hard y'all want to push each other. To not get into finals on the team that we had last year, as talented as we were, it burned. It burned bad. And I think that the mistakes that happened were completely mental mistakes um, that were really easily avoidable. Um, so yeah, I think in terms of the routine, they were given all that they could to succeed, but mentally we made some, some mistakes. I don't think we've stopped talking about it. Those last 10 seconds, they live rent free in my head. Like that, that's all I, I think about as a coach is how do we avoid that and stop that from happening this year? How do we make this year's team realize they are fully capable of hitting and killing it out there on those that floor for that two minute and 30 seconds? I don't think we've ever stopped talking about it as a coaching staff. Every choice that we make goes back to leaving no doubt and making sure they have every tool they could possibly need 
in order to finish that routine. Maybe they weren't trained hard enough because that's what I always fall back on. Maybe we didn't do enough reps of the ending of the routine or maybe enough full outs for them to, to have been strong enough to be able to finish. I mean, I can put that on myself or I can turn around and put it on them. But for whatever the reason was, what happened was we were incapable as a team and as a program, we were not capable of finishing, okay? One thing turned into two things, which turned into three things and inevitably prevented us from making it to um, the finals. Write about the good things, the bad things, what you can do better, what frustrated you. Because you can look back on this in a couple of months and realize I got a lot better than I thought I did. And it's one of those things that is really, really, really helpful. So we're going to start right off the top with y'all taking these home, okay? Buy in. Buy into the process, buy into the program, buy into the university. If you cannot and will not do that, do not come back tomorrow. I will not say a single word for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> the, the system of waiting until October, I think is broken. Everybody needs to keep working so that everybody keeps pushing everybody else. Post your videos. If I don't see you open gym, it didn't happen. Does everybody understand that? Okay. This is the best start of a, of a USF cheer program ever, in my opinion. Seniors, enjoy the last moment before the stadium is full. Last year on Horns Up. I love the work ethic on this team. I feel like this team is very special because you guys want it so, so, so bad. Trust the process a little bit. We have the opportunity for you to make two mats. Um, we compete in both the game day division and the traditional category. And then we went out there, you guys, we dropped four stunts. Four stunts. I think a lot of people were just very intimidated on the fact that this was like our first real performance in front of people. Because I don't see what the big deal is about getting in front of a group of people and showing them all the hard work and the talent that you have inside of you. Look at me. I do not want to hear one word about traditional right now. Lack of focus and it was just chaos on the mat. We changed our opening stunt. Instead of doing a back handspring hey! pull up to one foot, we go. We went to two feet to make it look cleaner. If your routine is perfect and yours is perfect and yours is perfect, then what does that do to the whole routine? And that's what we all talked about. We all talked about it just being sections, not even using the word full out, not thinking about the word full out. Mark my words, they are going to hit the rap performance. I think everyone's just kind of understanding the timing better and what to do. And right now, this is their moment, and I hope they enjoy it. That would be a big check because we officially have zero deduction. I overall just feel like we're going to go out there and we're just going to kill it and put on a good show. So, yeah. Usually we're like, OK, we're just here, and we just want to hit. And that's all we want. But that's not where we're at anymore. We've evolved, and we are one of the best teams in the nation. All girl, all day. Girls, <laughs> baby. Get it, Alex. I hope you're going to choose to do it for each other, for the university, and for the mere fact that you have put in the work necessary for this to be a really good routine. Good things come when my fire is fueled. And trust me, you rest assured, my fire is fueled damn hard. And on the other side, I'm extremely proud of you. Okay, and I love you guys. We dropped a pyramid we're capable of. That's the bottom line. Feel your eyes, they all over me. Don't be shy. Take control of me. Get the vibe. It's gonna be lit tonight. Baby girl, you give me tension and fatness. Give me some of that. Think 
Mix with the badness, look how she had She applied goddess, but I just that It's a good piece of mental There is no way that we are going to pick anything other than what we think will give us the best opportunities to succeed. It is not personal. It is not in anybody's like, we don't like her. I promise you, if you let us, we will love you guys so much. We love every single one of the people on this team genuinely from the bottom of our hearts. But at the end of the day, I want to watch every single person on this team stand up there and get two rings. And that is not going to happen if we have any selfishness in this room. Obviously, the other stunts that we're looking at, I will tell you, a full twisting rewind, an extended hand-to-hand, -hand, and a front handspring one and a half are in the traditional routine. The goal is that when we circle stunts, that you get to the point where you go, I didn't drop one. We saw, when I asked that this time, only one top girl could say it. That's pretty normal of a first practice. That will, that will change over time. Also, the circle stunts eventually are going to be your elite stunts, but we have to start looking a certain way, okay? If you mess up, mess up looking a certain way. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to look a hot mess with a mistake. You can still look like composed. You guys are way better than you realize, or maybe you realize how good you are, but you guys are really, really talented. Probably one of the most talented teams I think she's ever had um, starting the year off, so. I need us all to be honest. Every single one of you standing here, you're gonna have a shot. But does that mean that when we start playing, you're in the equation? Maybe not. If you didn't get your journal, if you don't have your journal with you, just don't even pretend you have it. Just stay here. If you don't have your journal, don't pretend like you got it. <laughs> okay, you were right. There would at least be one. And I'm not surprised where the one is. Say, so, take a seat, please. Hey, 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 hey. Out of nine, out of 20 girls, you were the one that didn't. It is what it is. It is, that's life. Uh, and it's not about odds. It's about, it's about, right there in that moment. Huh? Two people, hey, it's okay, that's Sandy. That one surprised me, okay. We're You're not, huh? Are y'all really roommates? <laughs> Are you guys really, you live together? Yeah. Okay, now, now I'm just mad. <laughs> <laughs> Who's rubbing off on who? This whole process ends with y'all. And now it's what? So it's like, I'm like, man, that's awesome. So keep that in mind. It ends with y'all because when we get to the, all right, go, Sandy. <laughs>
So um, we're going to do things a little different. We're going to start with our, um, our mindsets today. Or this year, they're really short. So And then you guys can kind of put them in the journal right from the beginning and then reflect at the end, OK? Your mindset encompasses how you see yourself, your place in the world, and the world around you. Your mindset influences influences and shapes everything. What you allow to enter your mind is vital to your health, happiness, energy levels, and success. You are only as successful as your mindset. If you don't know it already, watch or listen to the morning news is the worst possible way to start your day. Mindset is literally your superpower. The easiest way to shift your mind from can't to can is to change the way you talk to yourself, okay? So really quick, take a second in your journal, jot down um, what is important to you in this lesson. Topic on the board was about our mentality, and I wrote down something important to me. It's putting purpose into everything I do at practice, outside of practice, on the way to practice, kind of just focusing in on why we're doing this, why I'm doing it, and it kind of grounds me to like, remember why I'm here and why this is my fourth year on the team and almost enjoy it even more than ever because I'm putting purpose into everything. I, I think it's hard sometimes though. It's not super easy to always be in a positive mindset. Like literally today, right before we did that, um, I got my first traffic ticket, which wasn't great, but you know, it was, it was difficult for me to like kind of flip the switch in my brain and turn it around. But I, I feel like I got better towards the end. <laughs> Um, I was speeding <laughs> on the highway, 88 and a 70. <laughs> Obviously, this is day one together, and yesterday was a probably a shock for some of you, but that was our way of trying to put us right off the top in the right mindset. These 20 people being able to communicate with each other is more important than you guys will ever know. So hopefully after yesterday, y'all are in the right place to communicate with each other and the right mindset for us to start right off the top. Ready. Is you ready? Yeah. Whole squad ready? <laughs> I was just I was just mixing that uh, that song. Sorry. Um, this is gonna be a really 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 hard practice. I'll let Sandy start. Start. Um. So, wait, wait, how was the exam? Good. Are you all passing? Yeah. Don't, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. So, um, obviously, this is the first day of the journey. We're super excited. And um, this is. Logistics, sorry. I'm yes. Covering it, sorry. For tomorrow. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Um, logistically, this day we are here, okay? Um, once we are done here, it's just a one practice, we are done. And then tomorrow we officially start at um, Wiregrass, and we will be starting there tomorrow um, at 10 a.m., 10 to 12, and a 2 to 4 traditional focus again until um, Blake, we start with Blake fresh on Monday. And the goal is with Blake on Monday that we would like to run a full out in front of him for traditional. And we will obviously run full out for game day in front of him as well. OK, um, and then fix everything from there. OK, so that is where our mindset is. OK, um, transitioning. Um, yeah. I know Wait, Wayne no, San wants to talk. Sandy's mom's been in the sweatshop just sewing up flags and, and <laughs> yes you'll get to see them tomorrow that the drop downs no longer have two corners they are straight poles and you can see where they go and they drop straight down it looks awesome. really good they are yeah, going to be great. A great job <laughs> um um with that being said okay uh traditional yeah today and tomorrow we're really going to focus on traditional um what we're going to do right now is i'm going to wrap up practice i am done we're going to, um, we're leaving. Goodbye. Practice is over. I enjoyed seeing, uh, for us at least, we're leaving. We're going to go Christmas shopping. But you guys are in the room and you have time right now. You have time. I enjoy seeing the stunt groups come to um, Wiregrass and the ones that I see on, on, on whatever, you know, uh, Van and, 
and group me. I like seeing that because you four girls made a choice to meet up and work on something. And it showed last year with the traditional routine because we stunted better than everybody else. But it's kind of hard to get a bunch of people to come in and get better at pyramids. And the difference is, what I mean by that is, when you guys work together with each other on your stunts, you communicate, you figure out what you need, and you, you figure out the technique that works for you. And then you can execute it when it comes time. I really like y'all to take this opportunity, if you choose to, or you can just wrap it up and get your behinds home to um, make sure you feel that way about pyramids, okay? Uh, you have enough people in here to keep everybody safe. How many people work here? Raise your hand if you work here. Higher, higher, good. So you guys know how to shut this place down. Uh, Joe asked for you to please take some photos so you can put on social media. And send them to him. me too so that I can thank them on social. Thank them for social. working in here. Um, I don't know what y'all are going to do at this time, but it, it is your time. Today is like literally five weeks from today. We're going to ask you guys and the people that aren't here in, to, um, to do something that's never been done. And, I, and that is just hit for performances and represent USF. So you know what I'm saying. Got it? So practice is over. I know y'all looking, what? You're looking like I'm crazy. Practice is over, okay? Um, yes, good job. Everybody showed up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the people that need to shut down here, shut down here. Okay, when you're done. So. And be ready to go on Sunday. Be what time? Yeah. What time? 10 o'clock, yeah. Where? So now. Good. We will this have, is yours. We will have some personal goals for traditional for tomorrow. tomorrow. We will have we have the cutouts for USF. Cutouts. We have the flag. So it's like, oh, you know, everything we need. So hands in. Here we go, hands in. All girl, all girl, all girl, you one, two, three. All girl, woo! All right, so yesterday's practice, the coaches came in and they pretty much just told us that practice was over and they would be leaving and leaving it up to us to decide to stay and rep out or if we wanted to go home. And so they left and we decided as a team that we were gonna stay and we were gonna grind, grind it out. And I think it went awesome. It was a great time for us to work together and work on our communication skills and really want to do it for us. Like we got to decide what we wanted to do. And I think that made people want to hit it even more because it was coming from within. And I think it was, it was a great way to start the two day process because it started with us wanting it. We have just kicked off two days. Uh, this is actually the first full day with the traditional team. It is uh, the, the 20 that are representing our traditional mat this year. We're kicking off two days with them. It's kind of form fitting that we're starting with them because we're going to be ending. Um, I am going to focus a lot on pyramids. I've been saying it all season. Last year we had a you know that debacle with uh, dropping a pyramid at the end of the routine, but this year we took a different approach to the pyramid. The skills this this year we've been working on since camp. The right people are in the right place personnel wise, but we need to get the reps in. Unlike stunts, you know it just takes four people to to perfect the timing. We need to get that kind of timing and technique in the groups. Um, for each individual pyramid. And the, and the more we, um, we, we get more reps on them, the better they're gonna be at uh, when it comes time to, to hitting at nationals. Because ultimately that is the goal. I think what Joe told Sandy about that UCF national championship team, their relationship with each other, I think that really impacts Sandy because she said, because of what Joe said, what did he say about that team? Well, that they just were so easy to get along with that, you know, they got inducted 13 years later and it was literally one of the best nights of his life because all of a sudden they got back in the room and they clicked back into their old ways. Now, that is an incredible group of people. We happen to be fortunate enough to know and been friends with a lot of them, but the way that they treated each other and the easiness that he said, the easiness that they had with each other and not taking offense when somebody was on them because they knew that the corrections from each other were for the betterment of that one team was why they were able to accomplish their goals. And they were not the most talented team that year, but they were absolutely probably the easiest that got along and they were perfect when it counted. And I think it showed. We are going to do a five-part pyramid uh, rotation. I told you it's going to be like CrossFit. Five-part rotation pyramid. Pyramid rotation. What does that mean is we're going to spot each other. Uh, Kayla Dick groups go. It's beautiful. Middle group goes. It's awesome. Reagan's group go. It's great. That ending pyramid goes. It's amazing. 
that ending pyramid goes. It's amazing. We line up both pull up one ones in the chair. It all hits. That would be one. And then you take a deep breath and we run it back again. Now, the first two or two to three are going to be back to back. So you get your breathers. They're going to be back to back. But the goal and right now, hey, we're going to we're going to over there at the side. We're going to just out of the five because the crowning jewel is the full up one one ones in the cheer. OK, the crowning jewel is that. OK, the first two are going to be back to back. Got it. The last three are going to be back to back. So whatever you got to work out, work it out in the first two. If, not, if it's not perfect, and then the last three, when it's back to back, I need you to rely on technique because that's when you're going to be winded. When you're done with that, we're going to lunch. We mark the routine a couple times, we go to lunch. We need reps in what? Then let's get some reps in pyramids and condition our bodies. All right, here we go. Come on. Ending pyramid over there. Put it up to her, y'all. Put it up to her. Kind of taking like a CrossFit approach. We figure the more reps they have and the more of a game that we make out of it, um, the more they'll, you know, start to understand each other's timing. And instead of, you know, dwelling on, you know, the mistakes, they're gonna try to figure out a way to not get it wrong. I need you to get used to this, because when our spotters are here, and I say we're doing eight rounds, you'll know what's going on. It'll be nonstop. Go and do it, do it, with not spotting each other. Today you get your breather. And I notice y'all are talking to each other. Talk to each other after my, after this round. Instead, okay, talk to each other about what happened after. We don't have time to clean technique, but right now just get it done. I need this to move faster, so as soon as they pop down, all the way around, ready? You gotta know how to switch between what techniques is what and know what's going on. It begins, go. I like the CrossFit style a lot. I think it's good for getting good reps, and I like practicing things when I'm tired, and this, it definitely makes you really tired. But like when you practice things when you're tired, you kind of get a better feel of what it'll feel like in the routine when you're doing it, and I like that. So I think it's good conditioning, I think it's good practice, I think they're good reps. So today is one full out, two, three. We're gonna do that all the way up until Friday, and then it resets. It's gonna reset every Sunday. God's good. I do not. Want to hear you didn't have anything left in the tank at the end of the routine this season. No, she sh top girl could have lifted and gotten there. I don't see what I see from the other girls from her. If it's not perfect, she's just waiting to fall. our timing and getting the kinks out of it right now. The other groups have had the past couple months to like get it down and like figure out the timing with it. But we had Riley's concussion and Toast was sick though. One day we really repped them down in the arena for, at USF. And then Toast hurt her ankle. So it's just like, we haven't really been able to like get that consistency and like get that timing with each other. So we're just trying to figure out the kinks and get it consistent all the time. It's an inconsistent thing. They were the first group to hit the Bufu 1-1-1 at the beginning of the season. So now that it's just also in the routine, I think could be part of the problem. It makes it harder. I mean, by that point, we're already halfway through. All of our energy is drained. So 
having to do that, I think, is a lot on everyone. And when it's inconsistent, you really don't know what to expect. When you're going through a routine and you know what is going to happen and like everyone's parts, you kind of just can go through without thinking and do what you need to do. But in that, you never know what's going to happen. So your brain can't be trained to just go through the motions. This is my first year ever shouldering. And there's a clip of Le maybe of Leighton saying, shouldering is like the most important part. The most important position is shouldering. And I've never done it before. And I'm a little bit tall for a shoulder since I'm a back spot. Yes, the shoulder stand is a newer shoulder stand. She did not do shoulder stands last year, but she is fully capable of doing shoulder stands. Is she as short as someone like Kate? No, but most people on our team are not. The thing I've tried to like help her with is learning how to stand back up after the shoulder stand hit, or after the pyramid hits, and then also the spacing of the shoulder stand. I've helped her a lot with that. Um, she's come to me a few times just being like, do you think this is my fault? Like, do you, you know, do you have any tips? And sometimes I'll, I'll try to help her out, but a lot of the times, I mean, she knows what she's doing. She's really good, so. Um, but yeah, I've helped her with spacing, and she was definitely new to shouldering. Um, not something she thought she'd be doing for sure, but she's doing a great job, so. Riley's the tallest shoulder and Sammy's the tallest mid layer. So when you're throwing it, you gotta, you gotta launch it up to the ceiling. Height is not the issue. People can squat down to get lower. The toss is not the issue. All three girls that are loading that pyramid are more than strong enough and powerful enough to get it to the top. And I think we've got a little bit, like at the end of the practice, we kind of realized we need to throw it like a little bit more in front so that it actually like ends up on the leg. I don't think they're, everybody's working cohesively together. So I think that can cause problems with our consistency. Um, yeah. And so it's been tough to try and figure out not just the technique of a shoulder, like what Kate would do or what Avery would do. Everyone's getting really frustrated because it's not hitting. And if we were all to just get on the same page and think back to August when it was hitting, I'm sure it would be a lot better. I feel like there's a lot of problems with the pyramid and like, it's, it's not just me and Sammy, it's all of us, but mainly me and Sammy's like timing hasn't been great lately, especially cause like the last like couple months, we at least have like one person out of the pyramid, like not in the pyramid. Like I was out for a couple weeks because of my foot. Um, Riley was out for a little bit because of concussion. And I feel like with two big injuries like that, that really set us back in progress. Because in the beginning of the season, we were like the first pyramid group like hitting these like consistently. And now it's just not working anymore. But I feel like there's just times in cheerleading where like you do something so much that you start to like lose the timing and it takes a minute to like kind of get your groove back. So I kind of feel like that's where we are right now. But the issue is we don't really have time to be in that funk right now. So I'm getting stressed out and I think everyone in the group's getting stressed out. But I think it just comes down to like, we need to calm down and just like take it step by step. And then we do that. How, how do we go from that extreme to that? They were leaps and bounds ahead of everybody. And then all of a sudden they've taken like a huge step back, but they're, they're climbing back up there. When it comes to, to Fisher and, and, and Kayla Dick, they just have to figure out how to work with each other. You know, when they get up there, Kayla gets up there and instead of lifting and doing her part, when she should do that, those things, she does it. And Sammy, instead of being, you know, a, a base first and making her stay up there, sometimes she'll, you know, kind of give up on, on ones that I wish she'd like fight for. But they, they, they gotta do, they gotta get more reps in, they'll figure it out. I have no doubt they're gonna be one of the best ones when, it, when, they, when we get down to Orlando, they're gonna be one of the best executing backhand full-ups, if not all three of them. They better, well actually, all, all three of them better be, you know, stroking it by the time we get to Nationals. Sandy said it's already been written, that we are, this is, it's happening. We put in enough time, effort, and these girls know what the objective is. So when it comes to celebrating, now nah, I'll leave the celebrating up to the girls because I'll be the most excited for them. They had an objective, they, they put in the work, and they got the results that they wanted. Taco Tuesday. Huh? Just a normal Taco Tuesday? <laughs>
traditional, okay? Every person standing here knows good and well enough to know that that first draft is not going to be the final draft. But we have to, one, start working on a routine, and two, have everybody else get a fire lit under their butt to start trying to get their butts in that routine. Okay, and I truly believe the same way, and Layton believes this too, the, the system of waiting until October, I think is broken. I think it is, it's, it is why nobody in our division can hit twice. It's why the two teams that hit on day one were not able to do it again on day two. And it's why all the people who were by the skin of their teeth getting through finally got some good routines on day two. There's excellent talent, but people aren't able to get consistent. I'm not waiting, we are not waiting. I think it's smart. I mean, I think getting a head start of traditional and game day is what other teams aren't really doing. I mean, normally we pick traditional mat in October. And I think since we already picked it, and I mean, we're so ahead of the game and like, we're gonna be so confident this year when we hit the floor because we've been working with these groups for months. I mean, we've been working on these skills for months. Like everything is just repetition and cheerleading. And now that we're already getting started on that, like I, I'm really excited. I, we're gonna be really good. It's hard, but it's necessary, I feel like. And, you know, there's, it's not to say that, you know, every, the mat is completely set and the roster is completely set right now. But I think being able to work with, you know, the people who could potentially be on mat and try and try things out just so that we're that much ahead of the game, you know, going into actual national season in two days and stuff. In my opinion, what happened last year with traditional needed to happen because we needed, we needed a reset. If something isn't working, then, then changes need to be made. And, and I think the changes that we've made this year should be beneficial overall to the program and each athlete on the floor. Whether they're on game day or traditional this year, we're starting it at such a, we're starting soon enough so that that comfortableness is there. Like I won't make excuses for that traditional routine from last year, what happened happened. But this year we're gonna try to make sure that the preparation on our end is going to be done from the start. We picked our team knowing exactly what we wanted to do. For me, I feel like I have a lot more time to prepare for the harder skills we're gonna be doing as opposed to last year, especially because my stunt group changed right before nationals last year. It was so stressful trying to like figure everything out like in like crunch time. So right now I'm really happy with the amount of time we have to work these harder skills because I feel like we didn't get as much last year. So I think the fact that we're starting early is really beneficial to the team as a whole. I think it's smart that we get a head start and we have a general idea. In this way, we work with the same people for a long amount of time and we get those skills. Two rookies through a full, a twisting full rewind for the first time, and it was my first time. And it's just their first year. So I'm really excited to see how this year is gonna go with the new step up. Your leadership is still needed because game day has to try and defend. And I need people, I can promise you, I need people from this group's leadership for game day. So it cannot be about one or the other. If we're gonna be, there's a reason nobody's won both. I feel like winning game day last year really helped the tryout pool we had this year because a lot of people wanted to come, obviously, to have a shot at winning a national championship, which brings a lot of talent. We had a lot of girls try out with not only amazing stunting, but amazing tumbling, and that's made it really hard for them to pick the best 20 this year. The third and fourth years supporting each other, and maybe that, that might even take somebody, and it's gonna be hard, going, you know what? If they picked this person in my stunt position, and I have experience, but we saw something that we needed as a team with them, that experienced person could help make that person better if you were truly not being selfish. Does everybody understand? USF isn't playing this year, like we're coming for it. They're doing crazy stuff on traditional and hats off to them because being in my spot right now, I'm like, some of the vets are fighting to get on the traditional mat right now. Like it really is a hard battle. Our first year, our game day routine, I was on that routine, so I kind of know the motion of it. And um, I've always felt like I was a strong game day cheerleader. We want to just find the 20 people who are going to make it work. And if, you know, some, maybe some, you know, veterans have to take a step back and, um, you know, work on themselves a little bit, and some of the rookies are willing to, you know, step up and be a part of it, then that's what it takes. I really, truly don't want us to get to Wednesday and him start playing with things 
and all of a sudden I see people shutting down. That will make or break the way everybody else reacts. And I 100% can tell you, we have played with a lot of ideas in our head, but it doesn't work until we play with it in person. You guys know that, right? We have spent the last four weeks working our butts off for what we think both of these routines are, but the real deal is whether or not people can do things with the people we want to get the skills we want, okay? We're all gonna win the national champion. We are one team. So whatever is best for the team is what's gonna happen. I know that was a speech, but I, I know Leighton, he, he's like, are you talking to them? Are you talking to them? And are you being honest? The honest to God truth is if, if you aren't there, are you big enough of a person to help lead the person who is there? Okay? All right. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Whatever it takes, you know. Hey, okay, let's go. USF, baby, we up next. Whoa, we don't really do no quitting, can't stop. No, give it all that we got, then a little more. Whatever it takes to go green, go away. Let me bring it back, just a red troll. What we say, horns up, that beat of my toe. Our oh, girl, give our best, never less. Whoa, whatever it takes, okay, go. Green, green, tell them make some noise for the home team. One on yeah. one, we stand out and do our own thing. Yeah, everywhere we go, what the fans, what they scream. Green and gold, green and gold.